Hello and welcome to Lighting Up the Future at MWC Shanghai 2021. I'm your host, Sam. Today, I'm honored to be joined by Joe Weinman, digital strategist and founder of Cloudnomics. He'll be discussing digital transformation in the 5G era. Hi, Joe. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Sam. It's a pleasure to be here. I wish I were there, but it's a pleasure to be virtually here. Well, it's great to have you virtually online as well. <laughs> okay, so let's just get things started. So the first thing I wanted to ask is, in the wake of the pandemic, what do you think are the trends we will be able to see in the digital transformation of industries? Well, I think most people would agree that the pandemic has uh, accelerated the process of digital disruption and transformation in virtually any industry that you can think of. We all work from home like I am right now. Uh, we learn from home. We get our medical diagnosis from home. Um, and that's really just going to accelerate even further as we move into a more connected world. So for example, um, you know, the whole process of even medical diagnostics um, is moving to wearables and implantables. So rather than go into a cardiologist's office, say, I can use a mobile device to be able to take my EKG and have it reviewed by a cardiologist who could be halfway around the world. Yeah, I mean, so you've, you've talked about all these different trends we're seeing now with um, remote work and remote medicine and things. So what is the role that 5G can play in this? 5G is the enabler that reduces latency, increases bandwidth, increases security, performance, density, mobility, all of the different dimensions that we're familiar with. And so really the cornerstone of the global economy is digital. The cornerstone of digital is mobile and 5G is the new mobile. So 5G is everything really. Um, we've spoken about 5G being as a, an enabler, but the next question I'd like to ask is, is it a disruptive innovation or a sustaining innovation? And what are the ecosystem implications? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, it's a challenge to try and figure that out, really. So in classic Clayton Christensen, Innovator's Dilemma Disruption Theory, there are two main kinds of innovations. There are sustaining innovations and there are disruptive innovations. You know, that theory, you know, I have my own problems with it. In a way, it's a sustaining innovation for existing market segments, for example, consumer broadband. On the other hand, um, it's really uh, what would be called new market disruption because it's creating new markets that didn't exist before. The idea of, um, you know, high density, the idea of IoT, low energy for use in factories, for example, um, ease of connectivity, network slicing, all the different dimensions really are enabling entirely new applications. And you asked about ecosystems in terms of the ecosystem implication. On the one hand, you need technology providers with the global scale scope, engineering talent, product management talent, manufacturing talent, and so forth to create these products and services that bring the technology this far, but you also need partners like consultants and systems integrators and application developers that help bridge the rest of the gap so that customers, again, business, consumer, government, service provider, have the kind of solutions that they want and need and can be profitable for them. Okay, great. So that's really interesting to see it from a theoretical point of view. But what does that mean for businesses? What are its business impacts of 5G? Well, at one level, the business impact of 5G is simply better mobility and better defined in just about any dimension that you could cover, you know, and the dimensions look like 10 to 100 theoretically, maybe 10 to 50 in practice. For example, just in automotive, you can divide up automotive into multiple categories. You can think about trucks, you can think about cars, self-driving cars, ride sharing, and so on and so forth. For example, telemetry for predictive analytics for maintenance, right? Um, put sensors on the engine, determine if something strange is happening with rotation speed, engine pressure, collect all that data and analytics together. So there's the powertrain or drivetrain. Then there's self-driving, quote unquote, which isn't really self-driving, right? Because it's a combination of the autonomous intelligence within the vehicle. Then there's in-vehicle entertainment systems. 
where you could say, okay, well, here's where high bandwidth and mobility come into play. Um, so, you know, no matter where you look, um, there are these subdomains of subsegments of industry segments of broader industry. And I could go on and on like this for days. Yeah, so I think the impact is really gonna be huge. Okay, so I think we've um, covered most of the, the role that 5G is, is gonna play here. But what exactly is the business and policy environment that is gonna be needed to, to drive this digital transformation of the industry uh, through these 5G technologies? We need policies that foster 5G uh, adoption, uh, policies that allow for spectrum auctions that mean that service providers aren't bankrupt um, when they go ahead and deliver 5G services. Uh, we need global standards, uh, global collaboration and cooperation on technologies, because um, of course those lead to scale effects and learning curve effects that, um, you know, basically bring the cost down, open up a new tranche of applications. So basically I think the point is that um, the policy environment needs to not strangle 5G, it needs to support 5G. Okay, so another thing I'm, I'm kind of interested in is, is 5G just a technology or is it also strategic? And the conclusion that I've come to and I've written about is that uh, there are really four generic strategies. One is better processes and resource utilization and organization structure. In other words, the internal operations of the company. The second is what I call solution leadership. So what that is, is moving from standalone products to smart digital connected products that form platforms and ecosystems. A third is, in effect, better customer relationships through what I call collective intimacy. And then the fourth is using digital for accelerating innovation, making it faster, cheaper, and better. Thank you so much, Joe, for joining us and for shedding some uh, light on the role that 5G is gonna play in the digital transformation of industries and also its business impacts. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. I mean, we're just, we're sitting on the cusp of something truly incredible. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode of Lighting Up the Future at MWC Shanghai. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.